नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इज दिस है ना एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट या एंड दीज आर दैप्टर चैप्टर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज योर थियोरीज of acid and bases second bases strength salts and the laboratory preparation of some important salts okay now we will be starting with the very first unit very first topic what is uh, do you know what is the difference between acid and bases <laughs> any difference uh, oh what is happening any difference between acid is what is the difference ma'am bases are bitter acids are sweet okay um sudan I'm saying, what is the difference between acid and bases? No, no. Acid, my uh, pH level of acid is uh, below uh, more than seven, and uh, the pH level of bases is less than seven. Okay. Mm, so here, acid, bases, and salts play important role in our daily life. First, we will go through with the notes. Okay. And if my voice will crack, now then let me know. So they will have different properties which distinguish the compound from each other. Acids and bases will have the uh, different different properties, so that's why they are different from each other. Like here, your lemon juice, lemon juice is sour as it contains acids, है ना? While bitter gourd is bitter in taste as it contains base. So now, uh, salt is generally used in our diets as a salt, and in in chemistry, salt is what salt covers all the electrovalent compounds which is formed. With the reaction of corresponding acids and bases. Okay, so now you tell me. Um, so can you see this first picture? This is what this is a acidic acid. Okay, what about this? This is imly. Okay, what is imly? Imly is a tartaric acid. Third one, orange. <laughs> this is what this is citric acid. Okay, what is this? Um, citric acid, tomatoes, citric acid, oxalic acid, tomatoes. Okay. Okay, this one, lemon. Lemon is also a citric acid. What about this? Milk, lactic acid. Milk. And uh, here, base. Soap. <laughs> Soap is a base. Your litmus paper. So, in litmus paper, we can easily see uh, the means when the color differentiates. We can easily see whether it's an acid or whether it's a base. Baking soda. The in the kitchen we use this baking soda, which is a pure base. <laughs> Right, so the acids and bases are different in the taste. So when uh, when you uh, taste this soap and when you taste this tomato, can you feel the difference in taste? Have you ever tasted soap? Yes, sir. So there is a difference, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay, okay. So now, right. ma'am, soap is soap is bitter. Ha, ah, soap is bitter. uh theories of the acids and bases okay one second chemical get okay, this the chemical properties i will uh, start in the next class but today go with this one okay so here we will differentiate the acids and bases acids are sour in taste and base basic is bitter in taste and uh, uh, the litmus paper turns blue litmus to red when the litmus paper turning from blue color to a red color then it's a acid okay and when litmus paper turns from red to blue then it's a base see like this is our litmus paper now so if litmus paper is turning from red to blue this is which color blue color so when litmus paper is turning from red to blue then it's what it's a basic and here we are also studying all the examples of a basic okay so okay ma'am so if litmus paper turns from red to blue then it's what from red to blue then it's um, basic base. or basic or acidic basic ma'am basic and if from blue to red then acidic okay okay and here uh dissolve in water to release h plus ions when acids are dissolved in water so it releases what h plus ions and when basic is dissolved in water it releases oh minus ion okay when acid acid is sour in taste bitter in taste basic is bitter when the litmus paper turns from uh, blue to red it's acid from red to blue see from red to blue blue And basic starts from B, so it will be easy for you to remember. Okay, from red to blue means basic, and when it is dissolved in water, it will release OH minus ion, and it will release H plus ion. Now we will see 
how OH minus ion and H plus ion is releasing. Now see here. This is what <clears throat> these are acids and these are basic. Okay. So these are strong acids and this is <clears throat> and this is strong basic. So what are strong acids? Strong acids are your hydrochloric acid is a very strong acid. Your sulfuric acid H2SO4 is also a very strong acid. Nitric acid HNO3 carbonic acid and h3 pure 4 which is your phosphoric acid so these acids are very strong acids so now if we will dissolve these acids in water in h2o what will happen it will release h plus c here if you are dissolving hydrochloric acid in water it's releasing h plus and plus c and minus h2so4 if you are um, uh, you know dissolving in water it's releasing h plus and so4 minus means how will you differentiate between the acid and bases like that ki acid whenever acid will um, dissolve in water it will always release h plus ions okay and whenever basic will dissolve it will release oh minus ion so this is the very good differentiate between these two of releasing the different kinds of ions now here if you will see strong basic so this you have to remember what are strong acids hydrochloric acid sulfuric ma'am ma'am ma uh, my voice if you put if you put red litmus paper in acids does it say red what if you put Haan. red litmus paper in acid does Haan, it, say... it will be red only ha it will be red only it will not change okay. its color na Okay, and okay. if blue too, and if blue in this basic, then it will also be blue. Okay. 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 So strong basic are strong basics are NaOH, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. Again, my voice. Okay, magnesium hydroxide. So these are the strong base. Now, if you are mixing with the strong basic in water, what is happening? What will happen? Which ion will release? H plus or OH minus? H what will happen, Shazan, if the uh, if we are mixing the basic in water? So which ion will release? Um, H plus. Uh oh no, OH minus will release. Oh, OH minus. Uh, so here, uh, if you are mixing NaOH sodium hydroxide in water, so what is happening? Na plus and OH minus potassium hydroxide. So K plus and OH minus. So these are the difference between the acids and bases. And this magnesium hydroxide is a weak acid. Okay? Magnesium hydroxide is what? Weak acid. What do you mean by weak acid? Means less OH minus ion. And what do you mean by the weak acid? Sorry, weak basic, uh, less OH minus ions. And weak acid means less H plus ion. Okay? So now you tell me the what are the uh, what are strongest acids? Name uh, name two or three any of them. Uh, Ria, any two strong acids? Um, hydrochloric acid. Ah, and one more. Acetic acid. <laughs> Acetic acid. <laughs> Sulfuric acid. Nitric acid. Carbonic acid and phosphoric acid. Okay. And uh, strong basic sodium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, and magnesium hydroxide. And magnesium hydroxide is a weak basic. Weak basic means it contains less OH minus ions. Okay. Now here, what is this? See, now acid is one second. Huh. What is neutralization? Neutralization means when acid and base will combine, it will form neutral. Okay. Now here. Your acid is positive. Let's say I will taking one just example. Acid is positive, basic in zero. So what will happen if I take plus five and minus five? What you will get? You will get zero, right? It means acid plus base is a neutral. Now here, if I'm taking plus five and minus three, so, so why minus three? Minus three means weak base, and plus five is your strong acid. So if I'm mixing weak base in a strong acid, then what we will get? We will get strong acid, right? And if I am mixing strong basic plus weak acid, what we will get? We will get Not strong strong base. Ah, strong base. Yes, very good. So these are the differences. Um, and uh, the milk milk was which kind of acid? Milk, milk. No, no. Uh, can you repeat your question? Huh. Milk is uh, which kind of acid? Ma'am, lactic acid. Lactic yes. acid. Yeah. And what about lemon? 
Um, citric acid. Oh, tomato. Okay, tomato is also good. All the leaves are all the relics. Okay. So now we will see this note. What is the theory of acids and bases? So according to Arrhenius theory, according to this theory, acids are the substances that produce H that produces what? That produces hydrogen ions. We already saw now that when we are mixing the acid in the water, what is happening? It releases hydrogen ion. Or you can say hydronium ion and bases that are the substance that produce the hydroxide ions. Okay, if you are mixing the basic in the water, what is happening? It's releasing the hydroxide ion, right? So, and now, what about this uh, huh? bronsted lorry theory? According to this theory, an acid is a proton, which is H plus donor, while base is a proton acceptor. Acid is what? Acid is is it is a donor means it will donate electron and what about a base base is a acceptor it will accept an electron okay what about lewis theory so according to this theory an acid is an electron pair acceptor while base is a electron pair donor means there are very various theories which is related to your acid and base so according to this theory your acid was a donor but according to Lewis theory, your acid was an electron pair acceptor and base is a donor. But uh, ab according to this theory, your base was a proton acceptor. Hmm. So there are various theories according to this. So what is this? This is what? This is your hydroxide, uh, hy hydrochloric acid. We have already seen now that this is your hydro hydrochloric acid. So when we are mixing this H plus plus Cl minus, it's releasing H plus ion. So here also it's the same H plus and Cl minus ion. What are the properties of acids? So what is the physical property of acid? Acid have a salt is acid turn blue litmus to red acids are electrolytes acids are corrosive in nature and acids are soluble in water right so what about base base is soluble in water or not no yes ma'am yes ma'am it is soluble and uh, base turns uh, which like which litmus color to which litmus color ma'am base turns blue litmus paper to red no, 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 no. Uh, base turns uh, red that... litmus paper to blue and yeah. acid turns blue litmus paper to red. Ha. Because you have to learn it like this. Now, basic means red to blue. So, B and B is matching, right? Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Chemical yeah. properties of acid. So, do you want me to teach this also in the next class? Next class. Next, next class. Why? Yes, like this only. What? Like this only, ma'am. Okay. So, okay, just we will see some of them. See, chemical properties are what of acids. First, acid. First, we will learn the reaction of acid with metal. Second, we will learn the reaction of acids with metal oxide. Third, with chlorides. Fourth, with nitrates. Means this chapter is full of you know reaction reaction only okay so don't be like very you know it's very tough it's not very tough only the reactions are so first of all here when acid is reacting with a metal so you have to learn this when acid reacts with metal it forms what salt plus hydrogen gas okay when acid is reacting with metal any metal zinc metal iron metal any metal so what is what is forming salt plus hydrogen gas okay. next when acid uh, reacts with your metal oxides to form what to form salt and water when acid see here when acid will react with metal it will form salt plus hydrogen gas but when it is reacting with your metal oxide it is forming salt and water okay the difference is here is about your in, in the metal, there was hydrogen gas, and the metal oxide here was water. Okay. Ma Third. Hmm. Ma'am, is metal oxide a base? What? Is metal oxide a base? Okay. It says, Anne, is metal oxide a base? No idea. Huh? I'm no idea. Metal oxide. Yes, yeah. It's a, it's Ma a base. Basic. Base. Okay? Base. Yes. Base. Now, when reaction with chloride, huh? when acids react 
Yes, Rhea. Nothing. Huh? Sorry. Okay, I check it. When acid reacts with chloride, it forms what? Chloride do not react with any dilute acid, but reacts with concentrated acid, which is your H2SO4. Okay? Means what will happen? Your chlorides. See here, NaCl, sodium chloride, will react with your concentrated H2SO4. It will not react with your dilute acids. Okay, so you have to remember this that chlorides will always react with your concentrated H2SO4. Okay, now what about reaction with nitrates? Generally, nitrates also do not react with the dilute acid, but lead nitrate will react will react with your dilute acid. Okay, <laughs> nitrates do not react with your dilute acids, but only a lead nitrate is there which will react with your dilute acid to form what to form a insoluble lead salts so here what we learn the various chemical properties one second okay in the next we will learn the uses so the chemical properties of acids are this much only that first of all it will react with metal second it will react with metal oxide third with your chlorides and with your nitrate so if the acid will react with metal it will form salt plus hydrogen gas okay with metal oxide, only one difference was there. It replaces hydrogen gas with a water. So, salt plus water. Take next reaction with chloride is what? That chloride do not react any with any of your dilute acid. It would only react with your concentrated H2SO4, concentrated acids. What about nitrates? Nitrates also do not react, but only lead nitrate reacts. So, now you tell me, if I am reacting acid with metal, what will I get? As I output, reaction of acid with metal. Some um, hydrogen and, and water. What? Uh, well, I forgot. Okay, Shazan. When uh, acid is reacting with metal, what will you get? Uh, metal oxide. Metal oxide. Hydroxide. Salt and hydrogen gas. Oh. Okay. With metal oxide, salt and water. With chlorides, only with the concentrated one. And with the nitrates, only with the lead nitrate. So you have to remember this. In the next class, I'm going to ask the difference between the acid and bases. And what about and all this chemical properties of acids. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, then. In the next class, we will learn the uses of, base, uses of acids. And in the next to next, we'll learn about bases, uses of bases, chemical properties, pH value. Okay. Okay.